thank you very much dr palni velu for three decades of calling us coming here in coimbatore and unlearning learning and relearning if hernia if recurrence is a hernia surgeon sin inguinodynia is a punishment and i am going to speak on both the aspects of inguinodynia that is the chronic pelvic pain or inguinodynia or the groin pain post herniorephy technique now it is seen that if it goes beyond pain goes beyond 3 months after the repair then only it is called as inguinodynia and can you imagine the incidence is of the order of 10 to 12% of patients suffer that means so many hernias are being done and 3% of the people will have debilitating severely debilitating problem this can be because of one the nerve pain and two because the tissue pain and now pain is neuropathic if somebody has included the nerve in the suture in open technique for example or in the tax and if it is tissue pain nociceptors are there and they are responsible for for example pain in meshomas inflammation infection and then one has to rule out the recurrence also again and again all of us impress that no thy and not me well if the nerves are present on the swas then genito femoral now dividing into two you have seen in the morning if the nerves are present on the iliacus muscle then lateral femoral cutaneous nerve of thigh again one should not think that any and every surgery will have the pain only thing is because these nerves are having so much of variation of ilioinguinal type hernia type or the ilioinguinal ilio genito femoral so one should be cautious about that and one should know that more important is that genital branch of the genito femoral nerve is the only supplying the motor supply to the trimester muscle rest other nerves are sensory muscles so if we cause an injury to these nerves definitely we are going to have the pain in the post op period the and that continues for months and months william hostler had beautifully said that if you listen to patients carefully enough they will tell you the diagnosis means you should find out that what kind of neuropathic pain is there is it radiating to scrotum is it stabbing burning throbbing pain and patient is able to wear the belt or the pants or not so our thinking is that yes once you are knowing the patient is having pain please do not ignore that and then try to investigate it if for example if it is a nociceptive pain then also find out whether it is localized and there is no tinnel sign present in that situation and if it is a for example pubic bone osteitis is there then also one should know and for the diagnosing the inguinodynia you have to do the dermatomal mapping and in the, you can see the distribution of the various nerves and again if the patient continues to have pain for some time give a injection local injection at the specific nerve site and then find out whether it is responsible for this nerve or is it because of the all the three nerves which are involved and one has to go in for dynamic ultrasound ct scan mri and nerve studies again and again for example this is a patient in which the hernia had been done and the patient continued to have pain and you can see in this situation also the ct scan the mesh is seen inside the fluid and it is pressing on to the bladder and this is called as meshoma we went in find out the mesh was all crumpled up and then one has to do the mesh explantation and then only one will be able to solve the problems our thinking is that yes if you have to talk about the solutions then one has to go step by step it is not that you will jump on to the surgery first no first give the nsaids and then the physiotherapy more important is that try to give the blocks the diagnostic as well as therapeutic blocks at different nerves ilioinguinal ilio hypogastric and genito femoral and if the intervention is required then radio frequency ablation cryo ablation and operatively selective neurectomy or triple neurectomy Tri triple neurectomy is for basically all the three nerves ilioinguinal ilio hypogastric and genito femoral and then think about the mesh explantation 
and then once you have explanted the mesh obviously the recurrence has to be addressed too so one should be very cautious in taking these challenges i would definitely give the key message here in this limited time is that nerve block only when neuropathic pain is there not in nociceptive kind of pain and come out of the denial mode many of us start labeling the patient and sending the patient to the psychiatrist that this patient is continuing to having pain i have done my best but still the pain is there no i think one has to investigate the patient thoroughly and then only one will be able to do the justice to the inguinodynia thank you very much for your kind attention thank, thank you, you so sir. much sir for the wonderful talk wish now shift to dr rajapanian sir ke screen one please dr Raj